Black Voices is brought to you by Squarespace. Everything you need to create an exceptional website. For a free trial and 10% off your first purchase, visit squarespace.com and use the offer code MACVOICES6. Hi, I'm Chuck Joyner. Mac Voices is at Alt WWDC in San Francisco. I'm here with Mike of Avocada talking about some of his apps, including uh, Bishhook, a game that I must admit, Mike, I found kind of strangely compelling, and I'm not a gamer. Um, it is strangely compelling. <laughs> yeah, it was. It started out as something very simple, but it became a lot deeper. So, explain the concept behind Bishhook and what it does. Um, it's really it's kind of a marriage between chess and tic tac toe. Um, you're playing tic-tac-toe, but you have a limited number of pieces. They're chess pieces. They're they're limited by the rules of chess movement. Um, you can, like in tic-tac-toe, you can place a piece on an empty square, but you can also capture pieces or swap with your own pieces so to give yourself a better angle at things. And again, it you know it's it's an interesting take on a tic-tac-toe game because it adds some sophistication. And then you, if if I buy it or I get it. For free, I pl I'm playing on a, a three by three matrix. Right. But if I do the in-app in purchases, I can go to a four or a five uh, side matrix, and that makes the game a lot more complex. Yeah, or if uh, you have a friend who owns the four or the five, they can invite you to play. You don't have to pay to just to play it, but you have to pay to start a game in that size. Okay. Yeah. And and. You have included a lot of different options for gameplay, you know, as far as against the, the iPhone itself or through Game Center or, you know, pretty much any way you want to do it. Yeah, the classic four. Uh, play a friend, Game Center friend, play a random game. Both are asynchronous games. Or uh, if I'm sit sitting next to somebody, a pass and play game, I make a move, he makes a move, or just play the AI. Get beat by the AI. It was fun watching you try to beat it this morning, and sometimes you do, and sometimes you don't. No, I don't often, actually. <laughs> you wrote the thing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, my partner gives me a lot of grief about that. I bet, I, I bet, I bet. Um, so the other app I guess you have in, and I know I'm not going to get it right, so I'm just going to apologize, but the other app is a music app. Yeah, Odd Tunes Hang. It's actually been around quite a while. Um, we, I don't know, four years ago? released it and uh, it's had a kind of a steady following the instrument that it's modeled after is uh, got a, a real rabid group of fans for it and uh, just recently with all the excitement around uh, audio bus which I'm a huge fan of uh, we added support for that and um, increased performance quite a bit and um, getting ready to really introduce a whole lot of new tunings and stuff. There's about 45, 48 tunings in it now. We're about to expand that quite a bit. Now you say the, the instrument is modeled after. What's it modeled after? It's called a hang. Um, it's made by some artists in Switzerland. It's a very interesting, beautiful instrument. Uh, I own one, lucky enough to own one. And uh, I still play it quite a bit. Not having had my hands on the app and watching you play it, it's, it strikes me as something that I could play with. Maybe not play it well, but play with and create some interesting sounds and some, some fun music as opposed to a, a garage band where, you know, you have to really kind of sit out and work at it. Yeah. And uh, I don't know if you've ever sat down and played a steel drum. Those, those are a lot of fun. They're a little harder to play musically uh, because they have a whole lot of notes. Uh, and this this plays more in modes. So you choose a tuning that uh, a minor mode, a major mode, a uh, Hungarian mode, and you can't make a wrong note. Um, but the the overtones of the notes are so beautiful, and they sound so good together that yeah, you can get lost just playing in it. Now, how much is that app? Ninety nine cents. And you were saying that it's had a nice steady following. You know, from the day you released it through now. You just still see constant downloads and, and people regularly playing with it. Yeah, um, it's never slowed down. It's never been huge, but it's never slowed down. Um, I mean, we we answer every support ticket that comes in and um, the people that play it. Their questions are very, you know, I'd love to see this tuning. I would love to see uh, what, 
recently. I'd love to see it connected to audio bus. I'd love to see um, the ability to display it on a screen so that my kindergarten kids can watch me play it and as I teach them. So, yeah. Audio bus. Describe what that is for the people who don't know, um, and and what the implications are for your for your uh, your app. Audio bus is uh, the first time you see it, you just can't believe what you're seeing. Um, it's the ability for multiple musical applications to talk together and share audio. So let's say that you've got a multi-track recorder um, and you've got a guitar effects and you've got a keyboard. You can hook them all together. So you're playing your keyboard through the guitar effects into a multi-track recorder, lay that down, stop, rewind, load up a drum machine, start playing the drums, not through the guitar effects, onto a different track while you're playing back the first thing that you laid down. Layer it all up, uh, swap out which effects you're using, pull in a new type of drum machine, have it playing live while you're playing another instrument, a guitar simulator or something on top of that recording for other new tracks, play all that back. It's just, uh, creatively, it's amazing. Uh, I spent a lot of time playing. <laughs> with instruments on that. When you're not being beat by the AI and Bishop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What else do you have planned? Are, are these your two primary apps, and do you have more in the works that you can talk about, or maybe you prefer not to? Um, no, we have quite a few things in the works. Um, we have um, a rhythm-based game um, coming out. I probably can't say what it's called yet. Um, we have a really nice puzzler that has been in the works for a long time kind of tightening up the gameplay on and i still find it very fresh and i i think uh i think it's gonna be a winner um a lot of new music apps to the odd tunes family are going to come out uh trying to model instruments that you can't find very easily so that to give people more of a breadth and things like the audio buses have, have opened us up because i was going to have spent too much time adding a whole lot of features I need the ability to save out MIDI. I need the ability to save out audio. Well, now I've just got hooked to other apps to do that. You know, if I, if I need the ability to connect up to my Dropbox account, I'll just hook up an app that already does that. And I can spend all of my time making the apps very musical and not doing everything else. Yeah. Um, where do folks go to learn more about your apps other than, of course, the App Store? Um, Avocado.com um, and, and news. No. <laughs> <In your> news. <laughs> yeah. um, and I, and I, I've been asking everyone this. What was your favorite announcement or favorite thing about the uh, WWDC keynote? <laughs> and that can be that was your favorite thing or that affected you the most, whatever works. Yeah, well, that's a really good question because there were several that came up. But there was I know there was one that really just... I'm at a loss. I really like what they've done to Xcode. I really like what they're doing to the debugger. And uh, I like that they are paying attention to how everything works together. Um, I've always been a big fan of their accessibility and uh, how much attention they pay to that and are still paying. Uh, there's, um, there's new features to that this year, which is very, very exciting. Um, uh, yeah, just liked it all. No, no, there were there were some things, and yeah, I don't have them on me right now. Well, there was a lot. You yeah. know that 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 is one thing. It felt like a very feature packed, you know, so that you almost have to go back and and do the outline of what all was announced to yeah. figure out what all was there because you 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 forgot the the second one when they did the third one and the third one they did the fourth one. So, yeah, I get, I say the uh, the Mac Pro was pretty exciting. Yeah, I may end up with one of those. I want to see the price before I end up with one. Yeah, actually, my partner already has a uh, the new uh, Mac Air shipping, so <laughs> it's already on its way to his house. He couldn't stand it. <laughs> yeah, no. Mike, thanks so much for the time. It's great to see you. Thank you, folks. I'll have more from Alt WWDC in San Francisco. I'm Chuck Joyner. This is Mac Voices. Visit macvoices.com for links, show notes, to subscribe. To connect with Chuck on Twitter, app.net, Google+, Facebook, and for more Apple, Mac, and tech-related shows, including Mac Voices, Mac Notables, 
the Mac Jury, and the Mac Voices Briefing. Advertising handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com.